going? It is me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you are new to my channel, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, including ThreadUp, and I like to make reseller content here on YouTube. So if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. In today's video, I'm doing another what am I sending to ThreadUp video. In these videos, I like to show you guys what I'm sending to ThreadUp and letting you know whether or not they took it or sent it back to me. There is a lot of denim in this video. Also, I am wearing the same outfit in most of these videos. These are a pair of J. Jill jeans from a throw up rescue box, denim rescue box. J. Jill, I know does really well for some people. I am not one of those people. They're size four. These are a pair of J. Brand jeans. J. Brand also does really poorly for me. These I think I might've gotten at the bins or from a denim rescue box. Size 29. Um, they seem a little big to be a 29. But they've been sitting in my closet for a while, so I'm going to try and send them to throw up and see if they accept them. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with them. These are a pair of frame jeans. Frame, I actually usually don't mind selling. Well, no, I take that back. Frame is a hard move for me, though they are very expensive. These have a hole in the knee that I think is a little bit more than what they're supposed to be. But I want to see if throw up will take them anyway. Other than that, they're in really awesome condition. They are size 27. These are a pair of Lucky Brand jeans. Size 28 regular. These I also think I might have gotten in a throat of rescue box. They're like um, flare boot cut jean. And there's not anything really wrong with them. Lucky Brand jeans just don't do super well for me. These are a pair of Carl Lagerfeld, Lagerfeld Paris. Size four button up, cute distressed jeans. These I got from a mystery box, just a regular Poshmark mystery box, um, a little while ago. I'm gonna see if ThreadUp will price them high. Karl Lagerfeld, I think, can sometimes be a pretty good, expensive brand. These are an All Saints pair of gray low-rise skinny jeans. Really great condition. These I got from a women's mixed clothing rescue box a while ago. Size 27, 20 side zipper. This is a Maeve dress. I do like selling Maeve, but this hasn't been doing super well for me. I've had it for a while. Size extra small, blue with white polka dots. Cute little classic fit and flare dress. Maeve is an anthropology brand. This pair of pants I got recently at the bins, and I think it's some type of designer. This is the brand. Don't know how to pronounce it. It's new without tags, it still has the button in the back. And it's this salmon lightweight trouser, size 36. And they're just cotton, but they're really cute and they're in great condition. Um, these are a pair of Fabletics leggings, size extra small, that I got at the bins. Um, they have some like light wear, but nothing too bad. There's a little symbol. I think just this design I wasn't really a fan of, so I think they might take it and sell it. This brand is Grizzas, Grizzas, size extra small. They're really known for their lag and look items. They are actually pretty expensive. This has pockets, it's really cute, it's very sheer. This is a loft piece. I got this in my Jomar 50 piece CPR box. It's a size medium and it has these really cute bell sleeves. It's knit and this will be really great for the fall. Dark maroon heathered color, scoop neck, very soft like a sweatshirt almost. I do think this will do better on ThreadUp than in my closet. It's not getting a lot of attention. This piece I was planning on selling myself, but again, it's not getting too much attention in my closet. I got this online arbitrage. It's this great thick leopard print full zip knit with these pockets. And it's new with tags from Rachel Zoe, Los Angeles. This is a Pendleton size 10, I believe, a uh, blazer, collarless blazer. It's kind of messed up. The lining's not super attached to the jacket and this pocket, I think it's supposed to be so enclosed, but it's open. But other than that, it seems to be in pretty good condition. I got this at the bins. Pendleton is headquartered in Portland, which is where I live, but I never really find the super cute, interesting pieces. I see a lot of blazers and um, more mature items. This I also got at the bins. I got this almost a year. I got this last winter, I think. It's been sitting for a while, but it's this North Face, super soft, really great condition, 
jacket. And I really thought it was going to be a quick sell, but again, it's just been sitting. Size small, woman's size small. I don't know, maybe this furry style isn't um, very popular anymore. I know when I was in high school, which granted was like a decade ago, um, these were really in style. My friend had red and white. They do get really dirty, so I'm surprised that one stayed so clean. This is a piece I got from my Jomar 50 piece CPR mixed clothing box. It is an Acne Studios sweater. It's 100% merino wool. It's this great emerald color and Technically, this I believe is a men's size small sweater and unless you looked up the style you wouldn't know that this was men's and ThreadUp doesn't sell men's clothing. If they can't tell they just accept it. They always do measurements too so I think they won't be able to tell. They'll accept it and Acne Studios is a really expensive brand so that's good. And then the last clothing piece I have to show you in this video is this Michael by Michael Kors like military Esque style jacket almost. It's ooh, it's brown with these big copper bronze buttons. Um, there's some light pilling to this. Michael by Michael Kors does really bad for me personally when I try and sell it. Got this at the bins so I'm gonna send it to them and see what happens. If not I'll just continue to sell it myself because I actually think it's kind of cute style. Yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. Let me know if you sent any of these brands to thread up or you have a lot of experience sending clothes to thread up and how your experience has been. And yeah, let us know in the comments so that way we can talk about it and other people will be able to know what they should be sending to thread up and all that good stuff. If you liked this video, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss any of my other videos about thread up. If you are interested to know if these items actually sold, because you know, just because they got listed doesn't mean they sold, then make sure you watch my What Sold Sunday videos, because I will include what sold from thread up in those videos. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you're having good luck sourcing and selling, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye!